Hi there, we're glad you're with us. I'm Lynn Brooks. And I'm Terry Brewer. 11 people in Tuscaloosa County are now safely located after two separate incidents last night. The details on what happened and who found them are in our top story at 5. The Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office responded to two calls for assistance last night. The Sheriff's Office was assisted by its helicopter unit. The first was around 8 p.m. when two University of Alabama students became stranded while they were canoeing Hurricane Creek. They were located around 11 p.m. During that time, nine other people riding ATVs became lost in the Sipsi Swamp. They were located within minutes of the helicopter arriving there on the scene. Tuscaloosa County Sheriff Ted Sexton told us the helicopter was necessary because of the location of these areas. Luckily, the uh, coordinates that came in with the 911 call were extremely accurate. Uh, since the area was uh, remote and very difficult to get to, uh, uh, Sheriff's Aviation Unit was called to uh, locate the individuals. Uh, they were wearing only shorts and flip-flops. Uh, we were extremely concerned about uh, hypothermia since the temperatures were going down into the 40s. The sheriff says the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Aviation Unit can respond to any call they may be needed for 24 hours a day. New for you at 5 o'clock, it may be hard to believe that there are just 11 weeks left until Christmas, but this year storm recovery may make it difficult for some parents to get their kids Christmas presents, and that means some families might need a little extra help. We have some good news for you. Toys for Tots is accepting applications this week. The program provides toys for children ranging in ages from newborn to 12 years old. Each child gets three toys last year. The organization collected about 4,000 toys. Organizers say this is the fifth year for the program. They partner with the Salvation Army to help screen candidates. Ray Looney with Toys for Tots says last year they helped more than 1,200 children. It provides perhaps a Christmas of some joy that they wouldn't otherwise experience. And uh, we've gotten uh, tremendous feedback from uh, the local people here. Looney says you must go to the Salvation Army inside the old goodies in McFarland Mall in Tuscaloosa. Registration ends this Friday, October 7th. For more information, you can call this number 205-759-9504. Alabama's tough new immigration law is having an impact on students. Public schools are now required to check the immigration status of children when they enroll. As Darwin Singleton reports, many parents are keeping their kids home rather than risk the chance of being deported. It should have been a normal day at school, but it wasn't. We had uh, over 35 children whose parents did not send them to school, and 15 families have withdrawn. What's really frustrating for Dr. Bill Lawrence, principal at Foley Elementary, is the misinformation and the rumors many parents have brought to his attention. There's also a fear that something's going to happen at the school even though we've been telling them all along that this, is, this law only applies to new enrollees, not the children are already here. So there are all kinds of rumors that are out there. There are all kinds of fears that something's going bad is going to happen to their children uh, or to them if the children come to school. The language barrier has made it difficult to communicate how the law really works. There is a lot of misinformation out there. Uh, I've told people before, this is not a corral up uh, piece of legislation. Bowling County's sheriff says there will be no roundups. Legislation is very specific as to what can be done and what cannot be done. And so they need to just educate themselves, ask the proper questions, and allow the implementation of this law to take effect. Tuscaloosa County Superintendent Frank Costanzo told us there are a small number of students that have not been attending school, but he does also say there's not been a significant number of withdrawals. The University of Alabama is preparing for a big weekend, including the big homecoming parade. And WVUA is your, is your only place to town? watch yeah, it right live. We are today. proud to announce a very special guest will join us for the homecoming parade. First Lady of Alabama football, Terry Saban, will be here. Mrs. Saban will join WVUA's Lynn Brooks. To co who's sitting right here next to me, by the way, to, to co-host our live broadcast of the University of Alabama's homecoming parade. Coverage begins at 1130 Saturday morning with highlights from the entire week of homecoming. Watch the UA homecoming parade on WVUA with celebrity co-host Terry Sabin. Fall also means it is time to search for the Great Pumpkin. Yes, the search begins. <laughs> and when you head out to your local pumpkin patch, 
What are you going to find this year? That's a question we had today. So we took a trip out to the Tuscaloosa Barnyard to check out this year's crop. Cami Combs with the Barnyard told us this year's pumpkins are a little smaller than in years past. Combs told us that's good and bad news. Good because it's easier for children to pick out one and take it home, but bad for their bottom line. The weather has affected it between the floods and the droughts. We're not getting the size of the pumpkins that we want, and we're not getting the cost for the pumpkins that we want. If you'd like more information about the pumpkins at Tuscaloosa Barnyard, call 205-248-0773.